first order of the day. Coffee. So on the docket today, I don't have a big master list yet, but one thing I do need to do is go through the Ikea order. Since I know they already screwed it up, I need to take an exact inventory to see everything that we may have been shorted. Right now I know it's just one pillow, but I wanna make sure it's not more expensive stuff. So I have to find my list. I think it's in the car. I think the wife put it in the glove box. I was looking for it when they were delivering so I could just check stuff off, but couldn't find it. So let's go through that whole pile and I guess we'll just move everything over to that side and see what's in there. Yeah, I figured out what these huge 100 pound beasts are here. It didn't make any sense to me why they would be coffee tables being that incredibly heavy for a freaking outdoor patio set. No, they are two big garage storage cabinets. I forgot I had ordered them. So those will hold all the crap that was just thrown on the side shelves and some that was in the tool room for the old place. So that'll keep everything nice and neat. I got them in white, matched the rest of the garage wall. And after that, I've just got a whole workbench and cabinet system coming in that'll go on the other side uh, where I store the bikes. And then I'll have my steel shelves where I have them lengthwise in the old place. I'll have them vertical here to save some space. So all of that will be coming uh, at least another week. <laughs> and a beer report from last night. I tried this vanilla porter from Breckenridge Brewery. Really good, quite tasty. A little bit of a kick. It's uh, five point something, I believe. So 5.4, so you know, not terribly strong, but very smooth, thick, rich flavors and quite delicious. I like it. It was 10 bucks for a six pack at Publix, so not bad. Starting off with the pillows. We ordered four, we received seven. <laughs> okay, got the trod free, or trod free, I believe that's how I say it, gateway. This will let my wireless under cabinet lighting that I'm putting in talk to my smart home. And there's all the lights I'm gonna put in, three big long ones and one short one for next to the sink and eight stops. These are rug runners. These will go under the large area rugs under the corners. And they just threw in a random bag of hardware for what looks like the entertainment cabinet I'm gonna build. Oh, I see what they did. Because the Besta series, you can build, I mean, thousands of different combinations of these cabinets are really cool. All different sizes, all different colors, all different door options, shelf options, etc. So this is the one I configured. Uh, three foot wide or so by, or no, when I get 23 and 5 eighths wide. And it's a smoked glass shelf. Uh, I can't speak. Smoked glass door with a single black shelf. And then you pick your hardware. So that's the hinge pack that I just found. This is the Trode Free Remote. What you can do is obviously use it handheld or wall mount it and it becomes a dedicated dimmer and control just for your under cabinet lights if you want that. My primary reason for getting it is I want backups in case the smart system goes down or the internet's out, etc. This way I can turn my under cabinet lights on or off without it. And got some kitchen utensils, a couple different pairs of tongs, some whisks, ladle, spaghetti things, usual good stuff. Well, that explains why we had so many pillows. They not only screwed up the delivery, but the order, and I didn't check it. So that's my fault for not checking it at the store, but he was right there next to me inputting everything. Uh, we did not confirm quantities though. He just ran through the list and I double checked uh, you know, he said the numbers, but I didn't actually look at this sheet. So he did charge me for four queen pillows, even though I only wanted two. However, I did get three kings, even though I only ordered two. <laughs> so I guess that's your pillow, Chloe. What do you think? And I got 10 Ekdalen chairs, specked it out in the super dark brown, almost black, the matches the floors, and this light gray fabric that's a pretty good match for the walls. Very comfy chairs, again, 
Like the other things I've bought from Ikea, one of the only chairs there I would ever buy. Very sturdy, very comfortable. Good angle on the back, no sharp points. Comfortable cushion and looks good without those ugly ass Ikea chair covers. I have no idea why anyone thinks those things look good. It looks so ghetto. These look like any normal kind of furniture and very sturdy. This is the glass shelf unit for the entertainment cabinet. Two Hendrix doll bar stools, the biggest ones they've got. Very hard to find in stock. It, we were just purely lucky that they came back in stock when we were making the delivery order because we had looked at them for over a month and all they had was a display item and you couldn't even sit on it. It was up bolted to one of the shelves, but we sat on the shorter version. We needed the tall because the bar there is on the tall side. And uh, that'll work out really nice. Four matching Hemna's uh, side tables, nightstands. And these match the two dressers. We're going to put two in the master suite and then one in each of the two guest rooms that we're going to make into bedrooms. And those are actually going to be on the docket today because the wife wants the master bedroom nightstands and lamps in right away. So I'll spend at least a couple hours assembling all that later on today. I can get rid of this TV stand, so I need to unwrap it, take pictures of it, and put it up on Marketplace. Take it away! And we got some of these very nice looking fake flowers, just as decoration. They look cool. I have not ordered any of the artwork or real decorations yet. I am waiting until everything is settled in place because I need to see exactly where the furniture is and what kind of spaces we have available. I've got a lot picked out that I like and she likes, but you know, we need to make a lot of color choices and size choices. So all of the decoration will be like the very last thing going inside. And we've got a whole bunch of these really nice placemats. I think the design will go very well with the decor. And here are some of our serving bowls, the larger ones. Went with a mix of black, white, and clear stuff. These are great for, you know, big bowls of cereal or, I don't know, maybe a small bowl of popcorn. I like having different size bowls rather than just small ones. A couple more placemats, and these are the smaller bowls we got, and they shorted us one. Ordered 12, got 11. This is a matching sideboard to the rest of the stuff we have, and this is going to be in the dining room kind of against the wall there to hold dishes and napkins and all that kind of good stuff. Anything that you would need here at the table. And it's going to be a table for 10, although it's going to be in the smaller six configuration during most of the time, but it is going to be a, a large expanding table made for friends and family. Pause you so I don't get any copyright dings. Okay, so I misunderstood the guy when I was placing the order here. We wanted 20 of these glasses. These are what the wife liked and yeah, they're okay. I prefer these old school ones. Ikea makes these different series of beer glasses. Unfortunately, they always make them limited edition runs. These are my absolute favorite. And of course the wife has broken one of mine from my set, but look at it. It's not perfectly straight. It's got that curve down the middle, totally easy to hold on to. Perfect for iced espressos and beers. Makes a beautiful head and holds two bottles of beer. Just a fantastic glass. Nice weighted base, a little bit of a bubble in there. Just perfect. But they only made them for like a year and I just happened to get a set during their run. This is what they made after that and they're kind of more like a mug. I don't like them as much. They're bigger and they don't give as good a head. Still have a slight curve, but of course a handle, which I don't prefer. But the wife likes these, so we've got a set of those. And then now they're making a different set. It's pretty similar to these, and they call them all the same thing. But it's like a, you know, this is like a 2000, I think I got them in 12 or 13. This is like a 2015, and I don't know what they were making. It, but they've had four or five different ones. I can't remember the name of them right now, but it's the beer mug. Just look up the IKEA beer mug, and that name is used for different glasses. 
but man, these are impossible to find. I have scoured eBay and Amazon and everywhere that's selling any old Ikea stuff, I can't find them. Well, I found one guy, but he wanted like a hundred bucks for them. It's ridiculous and they were used. But man, I love these things. I would buy another 20 of these if I could find them. And they're light. They're almost unbreakable. She dropped one on the garage concrete, but I've dropped them onto the counters. Uh, not granite counters, I have to say onto the old house counters and they just kind of bounce. <laughs> they're really lightweight, but they're glass. They, they kind of sound plastic compared to these, but I love them. Just a tip there, if you can find those, man, grab every one of them. Don't confuse them with other ones though. They have some that are straight and they're smaller, not the same glass. I, I doubt you'll ever find them. But anyway, we wanted 20 of these, and when we were making the order, like I said at the store, their order system in-store was just as messed up as online ordering, and he couldn't order them. Obviously, they've got a crap load of these in the store, and his inventory system was saying he only had 12, so he couldn't place the order. But I thought he told me that he was going to order the 12, and then when we go to Orlando Ikea, which we did the next day for the couch, we would pick up the extra eight. So we picked up eight in Orlando, thinking the 12 were coming with this order. Well, they weren't, they weren't on the order sheet. So we're going back anyway for a bunch of stuff. So we'll just pick up the other 12 when we go. And that'll be our new glassware set. And it may have been just a, a miscommunication. We ordered a piece of art and a large frame and it's not here, but it's also not on the sheet. Although he did call it out when we were going through the order. However, it when you try to order it online, it says in store only. So that's kind of, I was, you know, thinking that's kind of weird that he could let me order it for delivery when I couldn't order it online. But maybe he was just seeing it and he forgot to tell me that he couldn't order it. It's definitely not on the list. So I didn't pay for it, that's okay. And we'll just pick that up when we go again too. Hey, good news, there's the missing plate. It was buried in the bottom of that glass box got eight of these big serving plates and they are so big they barely, I mean I'm talking a millimeter of clearance, fit in the cabinets. But those are really nice. I like having different size plates as well as bowls. And I, I really like the black. That's going to pop against the table, the wall, and the gray placemats. And I can't, oh, I forgot to order the runner for the table. Oh well, we'll get that one over there. It's gonna be the wife's job to take off all these damn stickers. <laughs> and then I got 12 of the mid-sized matching plates. Since we'll use these more often, those will be for you know big meals like Thanksgiving. These are just everyday size, normal. Well, bigger than a paper plate, but you know normal size. I need to order another knife block set. This one I got at Walmart, and you know what? It was okay. I've sharpened them several times and the edges just aren't holding very well. They're cheap, they're, you know, Farber wear, they're nothing special. I think I paid 45 bucks for the set and it did its job, you know? Uh, somehow the wife lost my paring knife. I have no idea how, probably threw it out or took it to school or something. She loses so much crap. I have three different sets of utensils because this is what's left of, seriously, three sets of spoons. She takes food to school and leaves stuff there and accidentally throws stuff out with paper plates and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, kind of pisses me off. These are my favorites here and I can't remember where I got them. Uh, they're Anita, so I got them at Walmart. They're actually really nice. I am really picky about my silverware like you know most everything else. You guys should know that by now. My test is scooping ice cream. It has to be able to scoop frozen ice cream without bending. That's my sturdiness test. And I'll tell you, most of them fail that test. They have to be comfortable in the hand with no sharp edges. And I'm not really a fan of ugly up north country looking designs. This is a set I had prior and it was just enough design where I liked it. But this also passed the ice cream test. Very hard to find good silverware. All right, so that's the shelf unit. I have a feeling that bigger one there, because it's black and glass, is the front door. Or it should be two. Maybe there's two in there and it's split. Uh, that's about the right size. 
But another screw up, freaking delivery guys gave me somebody else's order. I thought these were all the boxes from my big storage cabinet, but they belong to a Heather Ramirez. <laughs> Heather, I have your stuff. So these are mine. These are basically fabric boxes and they're stiff. They can hold stuff. I have a huge seven foot by six foot or so storage cabinet going in my office. And it's just a bunch of basically cubby holes. Now I did spec it with eight of them filled with hard drawers. And then the other eight I left open. What I'm gonna do is put these in there. My plan is to go to Staples and get hanging file, uh, basically rail kits that I should be able to fit in here. And then I'll have eight hanging file drawers and I can get rid of all my various uh, metal cabinets that I hate. All my freaking filing cabinets and banker's boxes just filled with my business records. I should be able to completely pack that away and make it look really good. So I put up the two Sharper Image air cleaners I'm giving away and the old TV stand. Got a bite on the air cleaner. Some will be here in about an hour to pick those up. I googled uh, the person that ordered all that stuff and it's only 10 minutes away, so I'm gonna go drop those off to them right now, and hey, maybe they got my pillow. Well, crap. I just actually looked at where the house is that I'm going to, and I know exactly where it is. One of my clients used to live right in that neighborhood down the street. It's a gated community, and the gates are usually closed during the day. So unless there's a car I can sneak past or behind, I'm probably not getting in because I have no idea what her phone number is or the gate code anymore. Hey, look, here's a car going in. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch him. Residents, visitors. We'll just pretend I'm a big trailer. <laughs> oh, please don't hit me, gate. Go, bitch, go. Hurry up. What the fuck, dude? What an asshole. Fucking dick. Okay, all delivered. Nope, she didn't get my pillow. Really nice homes in this section of the neighborhood. This is what another hundred grand gets you. stop I said my celebratory drink would be another bottle of Booker's and they had two of them in stock both the second and third batch releases from 2017 get it out of the bag here the wood loves to snag so I got the second batch the Blue Knights edition named for the motorcycle club uh, because the third batch got a pretty good number of negative reviews that's the thing with Booker's. Each release is different. So you have to look it up and see what kind of flavor notes you're going to get. Because they're all made from five or six different straights to make each blend. Had a quick stop for lunch. That was good. Turkey and ham. <laughs> I'm right at the cusp of the light limit. I've got the hall light off and the kitchen light on. And these automatic running lights here. If I lean to the left... <laughs> it puts it just into shadow. That's pretty cool. These are the eight cabinets that are going into my Calyx system. These two boxes are the Calyx system itself, the shelf unit. That'll be going in the office. Okay, I'm through it all. The last boxes are the expanding tables. We've got a big kitchen unit that collapses down into a circle. And then the that's one box of the large living room. That's the other one, or not living room, dining room table. And that also expands to seat 10. So uh, they've, in addition to the extra king size pillow, shipped us an extra Hemnes nightstand. We've got five of those. And they have shorted us, in addition to the 20 inch decorative pillow, a comforter. So I guess they've transposed a couple part numbers there. I'll give them a call and get the pillow and comforter on the way and see if they want their nightstand and pillow back. You know, I just had a thought. What if the comforter looks like a pillow? And sure enough, 
Can you see which one's a comforter? The only difference is the little icon. I just noticed that versus that. Ah. So that part's at least right. So all I'm sure it is the 20 inch pillow. And you know what? It's not even worth sitting on hold for. I will trade them the extra nightstand for the pillow and I'll pick up a pillow when we go for the other stuff we're getting like towels and glasses. And there's something else that didn't get put on the order so I didn't pay for it. Uh, but I thought it was being ordered. It was on my list and I heard him say it, but maybe it's another one of those things where you have to pick it up in store. And that's the, control, the power units and power cords for the cabinet lighting. Everything's sold separately. We're gonna put those down here. So you get the lights themselves, the LED strips. And then what you have to do is pair it with a power distribution block, basically. And they've got two sizes, depending on how many lights you wanna plug in and how many total watts are being pumped through each one. So I had two on my list, one small one for this guy, because he's gonna be on his own circuit on one end of the kitchen. And these three big ones, or is it one big one? And anyway, three of them are gonna be linked on one. So I needed to get a large unit for that. So I, I had two of those that I needed to get that weren't put on the order. But like I said, didn't pay for them, so there's no problem there. So I'll add that to the list of what we have to get in store. Yeah, there's one large one going in here. And then two large ones here and next to it, and then the smaller one on this single cabinet under here. So I'm gonna tap into the outlet behind the fridge so you won't see anything. And the controller will be up underneath this first cabinet. And that'll power all three of these. And they're wireless. They tap into either direct into the IKEA system, the trode free system, so you can use a remote or your phone. Or, like I said, that bridge that I got will also go into whatever smart home system you're using. So it'll go to my Samsung account and I can control it through Alexa via voice. This one, I guess I'll just use that top outlet there. That's changing to black so you won't see it much and I'll just run a short cord straight up so it won't be too visible. I don't really have much other option uh, I'd have to go into the wall itself to make it actually invisible. It's not really worth doing just for that. I don't know. We'll see how clean I can get it. Maybe there's some kind of uh, 90 degree adapter or cover plate with some type of 90 degree direct tap in something. I don't know. There are multiple wire options for these lights for the actual power cord. The power cords to the distribution blocks are also sold separately. They've got them where you can, I, I know you can direct wire it. I just have to see what is actually available for the plug itself. Um, then they have them with the integrated on off switches if you don't want to use it wirelessly or just a regular power plug. I just need the power plugs, but I don't know. I'll figure something out so it's nice and clean. You know me. So I ordered a new mount, it'll be in tomorrow. It's a fully articulating one, pretty much the same thing, nice and beefy. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the single stud mounts. And this one can scissor out to definitely clear that. So that should take care of that problem. It's not a total waste. I can use this to mount another TV elsewhere. I was thinking maybe outside on a sidewall there, or maybe if we want one in the bedroom or my office or this room here. I don't know, we'll see. This came in last night and I have no idea what it is. I think it's maybe sheets. Ah, yes it is. Same ones we got for the master. It, these are really nice sheets. So we got one for each of the guest beds. And we'll start a second load here, get the rest of the new dishes washed. I'll tell you, I love these gel pods, man. I have yet to find anything that really cleans as well as they do, even in the relatively hard water that we had in the old place. These just work really well. Man, that's a quiet dishwasher. Yay, got rid of the TV stand. So that is everything that I wanted to clear out. Now I can start building before the wife gets home. Got a couple hours here, so we'll start with the nightstands. Hopefully get both of those done and get the lamps built and that'll finish off everything going, oh, except the rubber. 
rugs are in. So all that and the rugs will finish off the master bedroom, except for art, but like I said, all that's coming later. Brought in one of my work tables from the garage. This is my mid-size one. Makes it so much easier to build. Here's everything to build one nightstand. And there we go, that wasn't too bad. Took just over an hour. I thought it was just a simple two drawer design, but it actually has this little drawer in a drawer. That's pretty cool. So I'll get the other one built for my side and then do the lamps. And then tonight we can put in the rug and that'll finish everything that's gonna be big going in here. And she'll have 100% of her storage and places to put stuff. Yay. Well, I was wrong again. They did not ship us an extra nightstand. I thought they did. The best unit here, same size box, it is my frame for the entertainment center cabinet. So I do indeed have the correct four count. They do not have anything extra they sent me. So we're back down to strictly the comforter and the pillow. So I gotta, nope, sorry, the comforter we already resolved. Just the pillow. Yep. Six bucks, I'm not even gonna waste my time calling. We're going there tonight anyway. Just gonna get one. I heard a thunk. More Amazon. And they're all for the wife. Thank you. Uh, I hate lazy manufacturing. Got the lamps, they encased them in styrofoam and then taped around the styrofoam and shoved it all in the box. You have to take the whole thing out and break it apart. Makes a huge staticky mess. There we go. Almost complete. Just need the rug. What do you think, Chloe? Want to go up your ramp? Run up your puppy ramp. Come here. No, come this way. Up here. Come here. See you later. Oh, there she is. Hi. What are you doing? You pretty girl? Yeah. You getting on your puppy bed? Oh, it's super comfy. That's super comfy. Yeah. Since these make such a huge mess, I did the other two for the guest rooms, even though those rooms won't be ready for another week or so. All right, it's 4.30. Chloe's gonna get her afternoon medicine pretty soon. Then we're gonna go to dinner and out to Ikea to get the last of the stuff that we know about. I've been cleaning stuff out or clearing stuff out here of my office and putting it over here because I wanna get that painted tonight put the last of the outdoor stuff out there. So that's just a huge, another mess. <laughs> Boxes are piling up and there's a huge pile in the garage. That whole quarter of the garage is filled again from the furniture. So I'm going to be measuring out this room to figure out exactly what I want to do. I've got two desks here. They're both the same. And one of them is my old one and one of them is the wife's old one, which she doesn't use anymore. And we just took it because, you know, why not? It's, it's brand new and it's a great desk. Figured we could do something with it. I'm thinking about just making a double wide desk setup. I think that would be pretty cool. I still want, I think, to be centered on the wall just for speaker placement because I do have a, another 5.1 system going in here. So I'm thinking desk in the middle of that wall there and either the desk, the other desk in the corner, or just put them completely side by side and totally rewire. As I set my desk up, I put my tower on the right side of the desk. Obviously I sit in the middle, but if I put two together, I'd be in the middle and I'd have tons of room on either side. That's interesting. I'll have to play around with it and just kind of sit at it and see what feels good. But I basically got this whole wall to play with. I've got under desk cabinets and drawers and I'm definitely thinking the big Kellax shelf system or whatever you want to call it cabinet on this wall. 
I want to block as much light as I can. I don't think it's going to totally block that little window, but I can put something on top of it. I need to measure, see what the dimensions of that are. I'm coming up to the middle of it, so it's about a seven foot tall to the top of this window. I think the calyx comes to about here, so that would be very easy to do. It's just a cool little porthole. I mean, I like it as a, a nice little window feature, but this is direct side light to where my monitor would be, and I can't have any kind of glare like that. I do a lot of color critical work, and this window is fine because I'll have it closed most of the time, and it does block most of the light, no problem. That's perfectly fine. But I'm never gonna use it as a window because I like the office dark, so I don't mind putting the cabinet against it. That's the plan anyway. Might end up over here, I don't know. <laughs> I've got a lot of room to play with. Don't plan on putting anything back in that corner. And this will just be VR space, totally open, just absolutely perfect. I can play anything I want, including the more physical games that I couldn't because of lack of ceiling space. My controllers would smash into the ceiling because it was only a seven foot tall ceiling. I mean, I could palm my ceiling in the old place and that was just unusable. This is not a problem, even with the ceiling fan, I can't even jump in here. <laughs> of course, I can't jump anyway. So our realtor got us a gift card to Bone Bonefish Grill. So we're trying that out. Bang bang shrimp. Oh, Caesar salad. The bread is delicious. And the main course is shrimp and scallops, three different fish, swordfish, salmon, and what did say that was? Phobia. Phobia. The delicious side. Scallop potatoes. Oh yeah. And we're back. Should be the last trip for a while. Home from Ikea and another delivery. I can't even remember what this is. Okay, last shopping trip for a while here. A uh, whole bunch of more towels. I'll tell you, these two things better be amazing. Freaking 16 bucks a piece. I got a pack of white hotel towels at Sam's for 16 bucks. It was like $130 in freaking towels. Ridiculous. More decorative pillows that the woman wanted. A frame, which stupid me didn't remember. I have a ton of frames that I brought from the old house. Oh well, it looks nice. Lighter than the ones I brought. And a photo to go in it that we both liked. A whole bunch of more hangers and a whole bunch more glasses. And the distribution and control boxes and power cords for the under cabinet lighting. So that'll complete that system. And this is another headboard for one of the guest rooms. With that, good night. I may paint tonight, I may not. We'll see. I might be pushing my luck with this load. We'll see in the morning. <laughs> this brings us to maybe halfway there. I got at least twice this left to unbox.